Nintendo Treehouse of America will be live streaming the game to give us a more in-depth look on the much anticipated game. My most anticipated game this year is coming out early next year, but I'm still looking forward to this game. And so you can tune in and check out for the first time extended gameplay on the game. Then they did also mention that the game will be playable for those in attendance. Did I ever mention that I'll be there, I'll be on the grounds playing that game. They did say that we will be getting an extended play period. That's great. And so we'll be able to play the game for an extended period of time. I can't wait to get my hands on the game to give you guys in-depth coverage of what this game is all about. And the series producer, EJ Anuma, he did did say that they're bringing something new to the series. I can't wait to see what the new thing is. They did also mention that the game is a break from past traditional games where you're set in a set boundary. You will be able to pretty much freely roam the environment, probably go to dungeons in any order. And so that is a cool and a welcome addition to the series. Going back to that original NES Zelda game where you can go into any dungeon. You might get your butt kicked if you go to the wrong dungeon and you don't have the right armor. But great to see that this is possibly implemented into the game, a true open world experience. And then the last thing they announced is they are offering a sweepstake for anyone to enter and you can win a chance to go to E3 yourself. They are providing hotel stay, plane tickets, all of this stuff. This is how you enter the sweepstake to win a chance to go to E3 yourself and play The Legend of Zelda. You have to tweet Nintendo of America using these two hashtags, my Zelda Legend and Nintendo Sweepstakes. And you have to tell them what The Legend of Zelda series means to you. Share your best memories of The Legend of Zelda series and you can win a trip to play that E3 and see a boy only one place ha, live. So those are Nintendo's E3 plans, but I wouldn't be a real Nintendo fan if I did not point to the big hole in the Nintendo E3 plans. There is no digital event or press conference. Nothing was mentioned, nothing was announced. And so I think Nintendo is missing how important E3 is to us in the West. But they did say that they will be revealing the Nintendo NX later in the year. So I can see why Nintendo doesn't want to share the spotlight with Sony or Microsoft who are both rumored to have hardware. I think it'll be better when Nintendo will have all the press, all the attention to themselves with this Nintendo NX. A shame for us as fans, I wanted to play that Nintendo NX at E3, but as long as Nintendo makes sure they cannot mess this up, make sure they have all their ducks in a row and give us a great Nintendo NX presentation, I think it'll still be all right. So sound off in the comment section below. What are your thoughts on Nintendo's E3 plans? Let your boy know, but before you go in this video, make sure you subscribe button to stay up to date on all things Nintendo Pitch.